Aloha. Hi, my name is Chloe. I'm in seventh grade and I attend Sacred Hearts Academy. My name is Mia and I'm a seventh grader at Wilbur Nazarene Academy. And my name is Orion and I'm a junior at Assets High School. Welcome to Kiddo Connections. Where we connect to our kapuna through snacks, stories, and songs. Today, we will be making some local trail mix. See you in a few. And we will be reading the poems from the author John Keats and Thomas Hood. I can't wait. And finally, we'll be learning the motions to Yankee Doodle Dandy. It'll be so much fun. All of our snacks, stories, and songs are themed after our word of the day, memories. My mom always used to tell me, the stories we tell tomorrow are just the memories you make today. So, let's make a few memories together. So, Tutu, are you ready for a tasty treat? Take it away, Chloe. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, my name is Chloe, and today I will be teaching and making with you some local trail mix. I really like this recipe and snack because it's very easy and simple. So let's get up, get started, and make our local trail mix. So here are the ingredients you will need. You will need four cups of any cereal of your choice. And you will also need one half cup of any pretzel sticks, chocolate candies, and mochi crunch. Once you've got all of your ingredients set and ready, we're going to put them all inside any storage bag. I will also like to add that I am using all of these amounts, one cup of all the cereals, and half a cup of Mochi Crunch M&Ms and pretzel sticks, but you can use any amount that you would like. And you can also take in and take in and put in any other ingredients that you would like. For example, sometimes when my sister makes this, she really likes to take out the some of the chocolate candies just because she likes it more healthy and a little less sweet. Now, once you have gotten all of your ingredients put inside your big storage bag, you're gonna zip it up and you're gonna shake and mix it so that all of the ingredients can be separated from each other and once you're eating it, every single bite is a different, is a different ingredient. Now, once you're satisfied with how much you have shaken and mixed all of your ingredients, you're gonna open back up the storage bag and put it into any bowl or plate of your choice. And you're all done. Personally, I like to end here, but if you want, you could also add a few more toppings. For example, sometimes I like adding some coconut shavings or chocolate syrup. But that's it, you're all done. And another part that I really like about it is because it's pretty healthy. Cereal actually includes high levels of calcium and iron, which keeps your bones and body really strong. And I really hope that you have liked making this with me. Thank you. So Tutu, are you ready to hear some poems? Take it away, Mia. Thanks, Chloe. Hi, Tutu. My name is Mia, and today I'll be bringing the poems to Autumn by John Keats and I Remember, I Remember by Thomas Hood. To Autumn by John Keats. Seasons of mist and mellow fruitfulness, close bosom friend of the maturing sun, conspiring with him how to load and bless, with fruit the vines that round the thatch eaves run. To bend with apples the moss caught its trees, and fill all fruit with ripeness to the core. To swell the gourd and plump the hazel shells, with a sweet kernel to set budding more, and still more later flowers for the bees, until they think warm days will never cease. For summer has obrimmed their clammy cells. Who hath not seen thee amid thy store? Sometimes whoever seeks a board may find thee sitting careless on a grand nary floor. Thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind or on a half root furrow sound asleep. Drowse with the fume of poppies while thy hook spares the next bath and all its twin flowers. And sometimes the gleaner thou dost keep. Steady thy laden head across a brook, or by a cider press with patient look. 
Though watches the last oozing hour by hours. Where are the songs of spring? A. Where are they? Think not of them, though hast thy music too, while buried clouds bloom the soft dying day, and touch the stubble plains with rosy hue. Then in a woeful choir the small gnats mourn among the river shallows borne aloft, or sinking as the light wind lives or dies. And full grown lambs loud bleat from hilly born, the red beast whistles from a garden croft, and gathering swallows twitter in the skies. In that poem, it talks about the beautiful memory of the warm and autumn. Next poem is I Remember, I Remember by Thomas Hood. I remember, I remember the house where I was born, the little winter where the sun came peeping in at morn. He never came a wink too soon, nor bought too long a day. But now I often wish the night had borne my breath away. I remember, I remember the roses were red and white, the violets and the lily cups, those flowers made of light. The lilacs were the robin built, and where my brother set the laburnum on his birthday, the tree is still living yet. I remember, I remember where I used to swing, and thought the air must rush as fresh to swallows on the wing. My spirit flew in feathers thin, that is so heavy now, and summer pools could hardly cool, the fever on my brow. I remember, I remember, the fir trees dark and high. I used to think their slender tops were close against the sky. It was a childish ignorance, but now this little joy to know I'm farther off from heaven than when I was a boy. Lastly, in that poem, it talks about the remembrance of Thomas Hood's childhood and the lovely nature God had created for us. We all have memories of our childhood and youth, and that is what makes us who we are today. One of my favorite memories when I was little is when my tutu used to tell me the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears every time before we took a nap. Thanks for listening to me. So tutu, are you ready to shake and shimmy? Take it away, Ryan. All right, tutu, so let's get up and moving. First, we're gonna stand up and let's just shake it out. Get all that energy ready. Get your body stretched so you can get to dancing, all right? So first, my name's Orion and we're gonna learn the movements to Yankee Doodle Dandy. So first, you're gonna take your two hands and you're gonna put it right where your belt buckle is. And then, you're gonna put your heels together, make sure they're not touching, but just so they're close. And you're gonna squat down and you're gonna lean your head to the right and then you're gonna come back up. And then you're gonna squat down again and this time you're gonna lean your head to the left and you'll come right back up. So let's try that. Down, up, down, and up. Now, you go on to the second part, which is one, two, three, four. You're gonna, point, you're gonna point out your heel and you're gonna put it in front of the other and you're gonna do that four times. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. So now you're gonna gallop to your right. One, two, and now onto your left. One, two. Then finally, you're gonna wrap it all the way in and you're gonna burst back out. Okay, so you're gonna do that two times, but before we do, let's do it all together. All right, so two hands right by your belt buckle, and one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, all the way, and then burst back out. Okay, so Tutu, are you ready to add some music to that? Here we go. Thank you for dancing with me today, Tutu. And if you don't get it the first time, remember, you can try it all over, or you can, well, you can go until you get it. And remember to share this with your friends and family, because it's always more fun with others. Thank you for dancing with me today. 
Mahalo for joining us today for snacks, stories, and songs. We hope we were able to bring some joy into your homes and hearts. And remember, us kiddos are thinking about you, and we hope to connect again soon. My name is Chloe. My name is Mia. And my name is Orion. And this has been another episode of Kiddo Connections. Aloha!